Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the continuation of the previous tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to check out the results that we got from the uh, transla translational motion uh, transient simulations uh, design that we've done uh, in the past two tutorials. So um, I, I have this uh, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't wait for the simulation to finish. I, I used this, the identical model that I did already the simulation done with. So I'm going to go and show you how you can actually start seeing the model. First thing you want to do is you want to double click on the time equals minus one second uh, and make sure that you, you put a right time, you, for example, zero millisecond or zero second. So this also not only shows you the, the initial point of the, uh, of the magnet, it also shows you the speed and everything else. So uh, if I go, as I said, if I go to view and under the anime, uh, you can see that if you select the magnet, you can be able to see how the magnet is moving and in which uh, time you are in which position. Okay, so that, that is interesting. Uh, now, what else you can do is you can go on the setup, and I always say that to you to do that. Otherwise, um, uh, you know, your simulation might be not right. Um, uh, what you do is you go to the setup and uh, I cannot see that over here. Uh, sorry, you right click on the results. They they change it between the number uh, Maxwell uh, 16.2 and uh, the old uh, Maxwell. Uh, so in the old Maxwell, you have to right click on the result only, and uh, you go to the solution data, or you can go to the um, the solution data should be okay. And um, over here, make sure that. Um, over here, make sure that the mesh statistics uh, you are actually getting. Uh, actually, that's not what I'm going to show you. I believe uh, the conversions here are uh, missing for some reason. Oh, yeah, because it's a transient. Sorry. So, because it's a translational uh, motion transient, uh, it doesn't have the conversion. Uh, it doesn't show you right there so just forget that uh, what you want to do is uh, you can um, you can select go to the plan, plane and you can uh, which plane do you like for example you like uh, ZY so you go to the YZ plane and then you uh, you go uh, into the Maxwell 3D and then you go to the fields and then you go to I don't know like B for example and uh, you say I want to see the magnitude of the B and uh, and just press done that should gives you the magnitude of B and then what you can do which is very cool and um, um, you can actually uh, right click on that and make sure that I'm not telling you how you should do that because I've done it like a thousand times so probably you're good in that anymore so I just put it on the logarithmic uh, so it's better to, to see so now if you go uh, into the uh, animate and you say that I want to see the magnetic V animate uh, animating um, you can press the shift key and uh, basically tell the uh, the simulator that how many uh, so there's uh, different animations for some reason so let's just go with the animation number one you shouldn't have that probably for you will ask you how many because uh, I've done a lot of animations to to practice and then to show you guys I have a lot of animations set up. Anyway, so um, as soon as you run on the animation, you will see that uh, here's the animation. You can make it a little slower, I guess. Uh, so yeah. So as you can see, the magnet is going up, and uh, so as the magnetic field, and that will induce some uh, some current into the, into the field. So now let's go and check out how we can see the current. You right click on the results and go on the rectangular plot and um, in the winding, you can actually see the inductance voltage, induced voltage, or the current of the coil. So if I go on the current of the coil, and press close, 
So this is the current. You see, it goes down and then goes high. It's like a sine wave because of the because it goes from the bottom and then goes to the top and then leaves. So you have some current that is going inside that, and it's pretty uh, pretty small. It's like a couple of uh, it's like hundred nano amp. It's pretty small current. Um, but you know the movement is pretty slow too. Uh, especially for this one, the movement was very slow. I mean, if I go and um, if I go back to the setup, you can see that the speed was uh, one centimeter per second, and uh, for so basically, it's a pretty small, it's, it's very very slow movement, and because of that, you don't get that much of current excited. If you make more high, for faster speeds, you should be able to see. And more current running inside the coil. Awesome. So, and that is it. So, if you have any other questions, please let me know. If you have any uh, help, other people, by the way, uh, when they're asking questions and you know the answer, help the other people. I love the uh, discussions that sometimes is happening in the in the comment sections. Uh, that is that is a very helpful thing, and that's the best help that you can do. Um, if you want to give me some help, and uh, that would be great. If you guys see know the answer of something, and uh, don't let the, your friends to hang hang there. You just help them, and just write the uh, yeah, yeah, I know that answer of these questions. I will look uh, and check out the answers that you are providing for other people, and if it's correct, I would leave it like that. And if it's not, I will try to. Um, to uh, modify that. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions, put it as a comment. And if you have a design, again, you can send it to my email and uh, we can follow up from that point. Have a wonderful day and enjoy.